on the previous episode, we kickstarted our hunt for the best kept Korean trends that are now making waves around the world. First on the list was the Korean ginseng. And now we're off to another adventure to discover more from the Korean trends. It's now our third day in Korea and we're officially done with our Korea Red Ginseng Tour. It's our first morning to our new home, Chila Stay. So more to that later. For now, we are on a mission to find out Korea's best-kept beauty secrets by visiting different skincare companies around the metro. Skincare is part of Korean culture. It's part of their oldest tradition. Even Korean men take care of their skin as much as women, and that's something that should course across the world. But before delving to our tour today, we have a new addition to our team. For the rest of our stay in Korea, we will be with one Korean with a Pusong Pinoy, and she's Shine Cook. Our first stop, the Resell Me Laboratory near Seoul. ResellMe is a Korean cosmetic company that aims to deliver results of nature to the skin. Inside the laboratory, we got to see how they carefully make various skincare products. You're in for an exclusive peek here! They're now formulating a body lotion to complete their next set of releases. Not only that, we talked to some Resell Me users and asked for their tips on how they maintain their soft and dewy glow. And uh, so I'm really interested in cosmetics because I should stand in front of camera every day. <laughs> so I really like Korean products. Uh, and especially Resell Me A3 is brand new <laughs> and is very fresh. Now we're on to our next stop, the Hygiene Headquarters. Hygiene is another Korean cosmetic brand that infuses the essence of nature to the skin. We were lucky enough to try out some of their products and it was such a joy. Hygiene's logo is inspired by a lotus flower that acts as the main ingredient of its skincare products. All those ingredients are so natural and I just want to pamper my day up with it. Of course, as curious as we are, we talked to some of Hygiene's staff and customers to know more about the brand. They had great insights on how to keep our skin healthy and glowing. 영꽃 라인은 옛날에 이제 중국 황후들이나 동양의 황후들이 이제 미용수로 쓸때 영꽃에 이제 있는 추출물로 이렇게 세수를 하고 하셨거든요. 어, 저희 하이진 제품은 지금 유럽이라든지 CIS 중동, 동남아 포함한 아시아 국가 위주 쪽으로 지금 다양하게 나가고 있는데 특히 지금 유럽 쪽 얘기를 하자면 그 유럽은 까다로운 국민들이 제품에 대한 특별한 그런 기준들이 있기 때문에 그 화장품에 대한 CPMP라는 인증이 있어요. 그, 그 인증을 취득을 해서 지금 유럽 쪽으로 어, 요즘 미세먼지가 굉장히 심하잖아요. 요즘에는 클렌징 하는 방법에 되게 포커스를 맞추고 있고요. 그리고 저녁 스킨케어를 굉장히 꼼꼼히 하는 편인데 많은 걸 바르는 게 아니라 토너, 세럼, 크림 정도만 사용을 하고 있어요. 그리고 토너 같은 경우에는 그 화장품에 묻혀가지고 토너 팩으로 활용을 해서 속 건조를 좀 잡아주려고 하는 편이에요. After two stops, our tummy started grumbling and we couldn't help but look for food. Luckily, we found a cheap spot in the same building as Hyogen's headquarters. We devoured two large bowls of authentic Korean noodle soup. We slurped our hearts out and enjoyed the warmness of the soup that made us feel comfortable despite the cold winds. It's located across the Korean Congress building. It strictly follows first in, first out basis and keeps the serving fast paced. Because regular customers are Congress employees, it was dubbed as the Congress restaurant. Now we're done with lunch. We went off to get some yogurt for dessert, but with a twist. 
It is with a twist because the yogurt that we ate is no ordinary yogurt. It's 100% naturally homemade here. We discovered a product called Yogurt Berry Yogurt Maker. All you have to do is place the milk and a little bit of your existing yogurt into the yogurt maker with boiling water. Cover it and wait for 8 to 10 hours. Voila! After getting our homemade yogurt fix, we did a little bit of exercise using this cool tool called the Power Shake Board. It's a convenient vibrating plate that melts body fat and helps target various muscles in different parts of your body through different exercise routines. Of course, we couldn't let the chance of trying it out pass, so off we went. To cap off the day, we did two things back at Guru District. First, get some dinner. When we got to our restaurant of choice, we got jajangmyeon, fried dumplings, jjampong, and jajangmyeon rice, which is called jajangbap. Tamakesumnida! And to our last stop for the day, before we headed back to our hotel, we raided the convenience store right at Chilla Stays Crossroad. Here, Shine and Mika dueled on who can finish the sausage first. One, two, three, go! Mika! <laughs> 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 but I think we can get that. She was like, I have to win this, I have to win this. <laughs> Mika <Mika's> gonna cry. <laughs> Mika, you're gonna lose. <laughs> Do it, Mika, do it. Go! Go, Mika! Well, Mika won. We were all so tired when we got back to the hotel, but it sure was a day full of fun. We have a lot more in store for you, so see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Korea! Annyeonghaseyo! Now we are on day 5 of our trip and for our first stop, we are going to Simsege department store to check out another skincare product that got our attention. Here's Hello Cell. 기본적으로 Hello Cell 화장품은 어, 순한, 순한데 피부 기능을 잘 개선해 주는 것을 저희가 어, 최대한 맞춰서 하고 있기 때문에 어떤 나라에도 맞을 수 있다고 생각을 하고요. Hello Cell is a derma cosmetics brand, which means that it's 
products can deliver dermatologist tested results without you going to expensive clinics. So that's amazing, right? We also talked to some of their staff members about what Hello Cell can do to the skin. And they had so many insights about how we should take care of our skin, especially that the conditions in the Philippines are harsher. After trying out Hello Cell's products, we went straight to Modern Nulang to enjoy some Chinese Korean fusion for lunch. Our personal favorites were the prawns, Chinese cold noodle soup, and the pork rice bowl. Oh, 맛있다! So yummy! It's such a busy day here in Seoul, and we dropped by Walcron, the global top tier company that's leading Korea in many different industries like water, eco, energy, construction, and healthcare. Among their many businesses, we were able to see healthcare and living business. Did you know that they're the number one supplier of comforters and other bedroom necessities all over the world? We tried out their best products and got so relaxed just by lying down their sample displays. 그리고 가족 사이엔 웰크론 헬스케어와 함께 국내 최초 한방생리대 유기농면, 비오셀 소재 등 친환경 제품 개발로 프리미엄 생리대 시장을 선도하고 있습니다. 지금 저희 회사가 27년 동안 소재를 연구를 해갖고 탄생을 시킨 이불이라는 브랜드가 있는데요. 세사라와 세사 리빙이라고 합니다. 지금 현재 그 알러지 UK에서 인증을 받아서 100% 진드기 방지용으로 지금 인증을 받은 상태고요. 한국에서는 이제 백화점하고 그리고 250개의 대리점에 지금 현재 진출해 있습니다. Wow, it's so cold. So we decided to go to Coffee Bay. Coffee Bay라 그러면 베이가 바다와 육지가 만나는 그런 마을 뜻하죠. 바다라고 떠올리는 어떤 휴양지라든지 편안함, 육지가 바다를 만난다는 것은 또 다른 세상을 떠난다는 의미입니다. 그래서 커피메이가 글로벌한 브랜드로 세계적으로 성장하겠다. 그런 의미가 담겨 있는 이름입니다. 필리핀의 세부에 시사이드, 바닷가를 바라볼 수 있는 시사이드 매장이 하나 있고요. 그리고 To end day 5 of our Korea tour, we went to a literal underground restaurant called Magpie. They serve the best pizzas in the metro and we just had to try them out. We ended up ordering two flavors, their best-selling Mug Morning Pizza and the Three Mushroom Pizza. The rest of the crew bought a glass of pale ale each. And because we couldn't stop munching on everything within reach, we enjoyed a couple of midnight snacks at Taco Chili Chili, where we devoured to our heart's content. Our scrumptious dinner concluded day five, and it was nothing short of amazing. Day 5 was quite a tiring one, but we all got back to our hotel rooms with wide smiles on our faces, knowing that we discovered a little bit more about the other side of Korea today. See you on the next episode!